I know Lakshmadeep is on everyone's go-to list these days, but like many people, I welcome the new year in Goa. Goa's lush beauty, its undulating vibe, have always drawn people in. It's so easy in your skin care. But since the COVID-19 lockdown, things have changed. And Michelle Mendoza Bambawale's book, Becoming Goan, captures this change up close and in real time. I think the pandemic was definitely the pivot. I moved here and so many other people moved here and there's been a lot of construction. I think this whole working from home uh, gave people the option to live here and work in different places. Also, people reconsider their lives in terms of do I want to be in a big city or do I want to be, you know, in a beautiful place. So it was definitely the pandemic that made, like, uh, accelerated the change in Goa and made it, uh, especially in Seoli, made it more urban. You know, this book is perfectly timed. And as someone with both deep roots as well as the distance that comes with having lived away for almost all her life, Michelle is uniquely placed to piece together Goan identity today. That's why I wrote the book, because I think there are many aspects to Goa and being Goan. And uh, though I had the ancestry, I didn't really feel the connection to the land. I didn't understand much beyond this, you know, whole beach party stereotype. There's a whole different Goa that I experienced here. And I think that has definitely made me feel more of an insider. Michelle helps you discover the patterns of life that underpin the beautiful landscape. Becoming Goan busts stereotypes, it gives you nuggets of history and most importantly tells you that you can belong if you care. I think the checklist was a tongue-in-cheek observation of Goans in the village and their connection to the land and the many things that are typical only of Goans. Uh, what makes me anxious today is the overconstruction and the lack of environmental responsibility, the garbage that's piling up, the lack of water, the trees being cut down. Uh, and I think that's the sad part. I mean, it's great if we all work together to build a more inclusive Goa in terms of we contribute to it and we feel a connection to a land. And then, I mean, we can all be happy living in Goa. Becoming Goan compels the locals, holidaymakers, as well as new settlers to introspect, to reconsider their relationship with this beautiful state. But it does so with great ease and a lot of fun. It's the first book I read this year and it's a book I'm recommending that you read, especially if you're going to visit Goa.